and I'll let you so welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dreamland in the last episode. We finished up White Wafers, and in this episode, we're doing the first level of Nutty Noon. Hi! You talk fast, Mr. Wuggles. Yeah. Yay! Talking fast. So! Fuck yeah! And in case fish. everyone's and in case everyone's wondering why I have all the things in these levels, it's because we fucked up two recordings last we fucked up two recordings last week. With the episodes that didn't happen, then Mother came in, and then we fucked up another recording. Yeah, she's might she might do that any time now. So we gotta ruin the tacos. No 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 Okay, well, I was gonna tell what actually happened. What actually oh. was, Fishbill tore the ligaments in his legs, slaying an ice dragon for, to impress his girlfriend. Yeah, Leah, get it right. Oh, bullshit, you were trying to pull some random skating move on the ice yes. and you fucked it up. He was trying to slay the ice dragon with ice skates. The ice king, actually. Ice king dragon. No, the ice what? dragon. You were not trying to slay the Ice King, you were just showing off, and you didn't just fall on your ass. You of broke your fuck- Of course he wasn't trying to slay the Ice King, he was trying to slay the- to slay the Ice Dragon King! I just find it kind of funny that he didn't just break his- he didn't just fall on his ass, he broke his leg. Yeah. <laughs> He's on a prescription to Vicodin now, he's just as awesome as House now. Something cool. like that, yes. Or awesome, in my opinion, because I'm that, not sure. No, 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 you're no! You're Wait. I wanted my wing. Yay, you're dead now. I wanted the wing. Fuck, Anyway, parasol. Fishbill is like a combination of House and Doogie Hauser. What? How did Doogie Hauser fit in? Who the, hell is Doogie, who the hell is Doogie Hauser? <laughs> He's Hauser. a child doctor from a TV show. Yeah, so Fishbill, you are like a ch you're a child, like Doogie Howser, who's addicted to Vicodin now, like House. Well, that'd be an awesome TV show. Yeah. It's so totally have you ever noticed how I say show, like the Canadian show? I say show. We totally, really totally need to do that. We totally have you noticed that? Yeah. Anyway, we totally need to, to like, do that. It's like. Oh, by the way, viewers, my name is Fishbill. I don't think I introduced myself. No, he didn't. And I. <laughs> Even though everyone already knows who we are. And Liam was rudely talking over me while I was talking over him. So Jer I am. I am Josie. I am QSKSW Josie the Cat Girl Extravaganza. My name is. My name is also Franklin, but no one calls me that. Oh, bull. Now, Liam, why do you crush all my dreams and hopes? Because you touch yourself at night. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Fishbill, you should just, you should just dream- For I am Jesus, you see! And I do not like you touching yourself at night. Fishbill, you should just strive to become a bullfighter, and that way when he says, oh, bull, he's not actually insulting you in any way. <laughs> I just, I love this random, uh, random off topic, but I love this Facebook page that I saw earlier. Lag, you think you have it bad? It took Jesus three days to respawn. <laughs> Yeah. Nah. I lost my train of thought. Um, you have a train of thought? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Since and since and everything. Yeah. Since I moved, I've been able to eat whenever I got hungry because we have food other than hot pockets for once. So, I don't know what you have against hot pockets. I kind of like them. I had. When you eat nothing but Hot Pockets for two years, you kind of grow sick of them. True. So yeah, uh, so now we have like microwave burritos, cheddar and jalapeno bagels, um... Uh, I think that might actually be it. Yay. But it's better. But they're so much better than Hot, than, than hot Pockets, especially... Uh, uh, it's like, I ate nothing but burritos for like a few months, and I've apparently lost 50 pounds. Especially Yay. when it's won by an extremely competent Santa. It's like, I was convinced that what burritos that were Santa? unhealthy. 
I was convinced that burritos were unhealthy because they taste good, but no, apparently they're actually extremely healthy. I heard something about Santa. I said, especially since she, your house is now owned by an extremely competent Santa. Ah, yeah, I see. My, land, my landlord looks like Santa Claus. Fuck yeah, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Yeah, my landlord is awesome. Yeah. It's like, a yeah. lot of things have gone wrong in this house. The room I'm in right now, the room was... The root ceiling was collapsed a week ago, but he fixed it. <laughs> Uh, I have a YouTube, I have a YouTube video uploaded on my channel demonstrating the, the demonstrating a room in the in my old house that had been like that for six years. By the way, I said this in the last recording of this, but since that didn't save, I'll say it again. This music fucking reminds me of Melee. Also, the levels amazing. Looking. Yeah, this level is pretty great looking. This level should be pre should be vice president alongside this cyanide and happiness comic Kimmy showed me earlier. What about alongside Bugles? They'll have their day. What, what? You mean like the candy bugles or the bugle horn? Candy. Or not candy. Uh, salty snack. There's uh, there might be a candy called bugles though. Yeah, the snack bugle. Yeah, I used I to wear those on my fingers like claws when I was a kid. Who I didn't? Google. I gotta Google that now. I have no idea what the hell you people were talking about. Yeah, one thing I always did. Did you get this? You ever get those those excellent olives? Olives? Yeah, you know, you know, black olives. Oh yeah, I love black olives. Yeah, Calamato the olives. olives are better though, in my opinion. What the crap are black olives? Yeah, I put them on my fingers and then you eat them off your fingers and it's great. Calamato olives are better in my opinion though. Are those the green ones? No, they're they're like the Greek equivalent to black olives. You find this in Greek is, salad. This is so on topic. Fuck it. Kirby is a is a pink olive now. Oh my god! I suddenly want olives. It all makes sense now. So bugles, they're like Fritos. Something like that, yeah. Except not as olive. Yeah, everything is olive now. Bugles are fried in coconut. All, all of the other Kirby. Something, something. All of the other Kirby. Yes, that's a crossover that needs to happen. I'm sick of all of you making these horrible olive puns. Kirby got run over by a hot dog. What? Damn, you're not gonna call it. Thought it was the fun. other reindeer. The bus driver thought the Pledge of Allegiance was about him. Now all of these enemies meow, just meow, 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 Oh god, damn you meow. and your puns, Fishbill. Damn you, damn you and your puns. I love how Christmas was like two months ago, but my landlord looks like Santa Claus, so I can get away with making Christmas puns all year round now. All of these all of these Christmas puns are making me crazy. All of you glad I didn't say banana. Feathers! Oh shit. Laser caution! Laser caution! Laser! Penis. Liam, did you hit record? Yes, I'm actually recording this time. I yeah. I did hit record last time, but I'm pretty certain that the only reason it's... I'm pretty sure it stopped partway through because my hard drive filled up. Yeah, do you want to tell your viewers about the new thing you bought? Oh yeah, um, though I'm not recording at full quality yet, if for no other reason than, to than not to change the format mid-Let's Play, this episode is currently being recorded on my brand new HD PVR! HD yes, I did it yes, I did it all. And now yeah. everybody in this Let's Play is going to get a free PVR! Awesome! Yeah. I can totally do stuff with that because Liam? I have so many composite cables. <laughs> Liam? Yeah? You've never sounded gay, but now you have. I was trying to do an Oprah Winfrey impression. Yeah, I know. That did I just... not sound gay, that was just an Oprah impression. Oprah Winfrey uh, is apparently a stereotype for gay men. Yay! <laughs> well, I know what we're calling this episode. <laughs> you got it. Seriously. You, do you, say, you say that in every episode, and we very rarely end up calling the episode that. The only it's time we ever did gag. was with the Super Horneo Brothers episode. Well, it looks like we're gonna name that episode! We're gonna name that episode! Not name that episode! 
No, fuck it. We're naming this episode Re Rihanna Bagel Pandas. I was gonna think we should probably name the episode. Well, we know what we're gonna name that episode. Because now fuck we're you, about that. fuck you! I don't play by your rules. You're an you're a strong, independent black. Uh, I'm a strong, independent. I'm a strong, independent cheese sandwich. I don't need no. Sir, I don't need no. I'm a strong, independent cheese sandwich. I don't need no mustard. I'm a strong, independent pink olive. I don't need no abilities. I don't need no mustard. Overkill. Subway started carrying sriracha hot sauce. You know, I I gotta say, have you ever tried the um, the egg salad sub at Subway? Nope. It is amazing. I don't know if they have it where you live, but you need to try it. Okay. It's like it's like they put um, egg. You you've tried egg salad before, right? No. Potato and egg salad. I've had potato salad. It's pretty good. Well, anyways, egg salad. The egg salad sub is really good. And by the way, I don't know if you do this or not, but whenever you get the opportunity at Subway, get it toasted. It is amazing. Yeah, I do that. I yeah. haven't been doing it. I haven't been doing it lately because I've been just basically eating it to go, and then putting half of it in the, in the refrigerator and eating it's, it the next it's, day. It's, it's still over. it's still good if it's cold but toasted, just because of the texture. Yeah. Just because okay. it's just because it's not warm doesn't make it any less good. Okay. Then. Can Deity Sun really just stop like living off of everyone else's mattresses and just get his own place? We do not reference other people's let's plays here, except when we do. Oh, you had the hardest time on this part last time. Oh god! What oh god! Is love? <laughs> oh, baby, don't hurt me! No! Don't no! Hurt no! Me. no. <laughs> <laughs> don't hurt me! <laughs> <laughs> don't hurt me! You stop that! You fucking stop that! What? Liam, that freakout was almost as bad as the space elevator freakout. No, oh, what, what is love? The space Baby elevator Kirk, was a, the, the space elevator was such a bad freakout. I made my first let's I made my first montage in that video, and it consisted entirely of random obscenities. Yeah, this well, is we know the power of him screaming obscenities. What the hell not just even, happened? Not there? even clever, not even cleverly strung together obscenities like the nostalgia critic or angry video game nerd just fuck, him fuck, screaming fuck, fuck, fuck over and fuck. over again. I remember the line, the only coherent thing that was said, I believe, was me shouting the line, Fuck the internet. Yeah, I told you to, I told you to be more funny because the internet doesn't like things that aren't funny. And you were all like, fuck the internet. That's awesome. I should have set the montage to music, but we're, I didn't for some reason. We are recording this episode on the day the Nostalgia Critic came back to life. We're also recording this episode on the day that... I'm not. No. I don't, I don't think I should say it. Never mind. Did it no, 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 and what? 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 Oh, uh, there was an episode of, of, of Dexter's Laboratory's side series, Dial M for Monkey, that was banned because gay stereotypes. I never saw that. Okay, uh, so it was basically the villain was a Galactus and Silver Surfer parody, and the Silver Surfer parody was named the Silver Spooner, and he was a gay stereotype, and apparently they cared about that back then. Which is pretty cool, I guess, except that they kind of overkilled it, because they didn't have to ban the episode, because I've shown that episode to people, and none of them understand why the hell it was banned. They could have aired Rude Removal, too. I don't know why they didn't. Well, they couldn't have aired that during the day. That would have had to be on Adult Swim, and they did no, no, Adult no, I Swim mean, it. I mean, like, if, if they had... If they had um, Re-censored the swear words so that you couldn't tell what the swear words were. They could have aired that as like a normal episode. 
But there was I funnier don't doing. know. Like, there was an episode of Spongebob where they said dick all the time, but it was censored by heavily by dolphins. It was hilarious. It was... Also, in the Spongebob movie, you can clearly hear all the all the top six worst ones if you turn Hello, on the fucking bi- Hello, Bikini Bottom Dicks! Today's dick special is a Krabby Dick Patty served in a greasy dick sauce! <laughs> what the hell? No! Liam, why do you suck? Shut up! Okay, Liam, there was an episode of Spongebob Squarepants where- where- Spongebob and Patrick learned the word dick, but it was censored Oh god damn it, by, I'm back here again! But it was censored heavily by dolphin noises, so it was allowed to air. How do you know that that's what they were saying? Because the- because I know grammar and am able to de to figure out based on the context they use the word in that that is the word they are using. This seems like a ridiculously unfair stage. Not really, I just suck. No, it's actually- no, it is actually pretty difficult for a Kirby game. If you say Finally, so. That relatively challenging. Yeah, it is actually- this is pretty good. For a, this is pretty relatively difficult for a Kirby game. If you say so. Anywho, um, the, the first instance of the dolphin noises in that Spongebob episode were, Krabs is a blank. <laughs> Okay, so now that I actually think about it, the word shit could have also been what was under the dolphins, the dolphin noises. Hello, shitty bikini bottom! Today's shit special is a crabby shit patty. No, 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 no! What? I nearly died again because I suck. Do you want a, oh, yeah. do you want a greasy left. shit patty? What? Hi, Squidward! How the fuck are ya? Crabs <sighs> nope. is a fuck. Hello, fucking bikini bottom. Today's fuck special is a greasy fuck patty in a dirt fuck sauce. Yay! Now, what was that about? What was that about fuck sauce? Alright, so there's a Spongebob Squarepants episode where they learn a naughty word that is heavily censored by dolphin noises, but the context show that the context the word is used in indicate that it's probably dick. I could go for some fuck sauce right about now. Dick sauce. Yeah. I could go for some of that right about now. Hey, don't don't make me show you the episode. God damn it. By it's the way, I love how Kirby wears the umbrella on his back when he's not using it. I know, that's Spongebob awesome. Kirby? Did you say Spongebob Kirby? Yes. Did you oh, now? Who, oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Kirby, Kirby. No, 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 also, no, 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 Also, anyone, anyone watching this video who wants to see Liam do a Minecraft Let's Play with us, just comment poop Kirby man, and then yeah. we'll take that into consideration. On that note, that's it for this episode of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. In the next episode, we'll do Stage 3, which obviously, as you can see, we actually got to in the previous video, but because I suck so much, we didn't get to it this time. Well, Sigh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob Dick Pants. SpongeBob Pants.